so where we left yesterday i was discussing about the secure flow do we need to have the secure connection between two parties who are communicating this is the thing why why do we need the systematic flow i hope this concept is clear i told you when two application wants to communicate this connection this this flow must be systematic so that both the parties could understand now the thing is do we need the security security means what security means maybe the two parties which are communicating are using some of the credentials of their any of the bank account or they are working on the on its gmail account or its facebook account they have login id and password so connection must be secure okay so the for the systematic connection we have the languages xml and json now about the secure connection the secure connection can be made with the help of soap with the help of rest these are nothing but the protocols and the architectures available within the web services testing okay so soap and rest are mainly used for secure flow okay if i discuss about any of the example as yesterday i took the example for make my trip dot com maybe you are confirming your ticket from delhi to from delhi to goa you want to travel and you are paying the amount you are uh, sure that you want to travel and you are just trying to uh, pay the your pay your your fare and all with the help of your any of the bank account credentials okay so security is required in that case as well right so for the security for the sake of security that both the connections which are communicating we are going to use soap and rest okay now we are done with four jargons in web services xml json the basics i am discussing so soap and rest if someone asks you what is soap and what is rest these are soap is my messaging protocol okay and protocol is what protocol is the set of rules which one must follow and what is rest rest is my architecture architecture means the outline the building blocks to perform any of the particular task and here task is the communication okay and the next thing about my uh, web services jargon is available is wsdl the term which may be um, you have listen it's wsdl wadl url digital file these are these two are nothing but two documents available within the web services if i discuss about wsdl wsdl is a complete document we'll discuss about wsdl how it comes how it is generated in a very detail okay and if someone gives you if if someone gives you its wsdl wsdl is nothing but a one url okay which consists of all the services available within that web service understand what i'm saying and wadl again is a same kind of document but it is concerned with rest <clears throat> wadl is concerned with soap and wadl is concerned with rest and what about url this is a basic term if i open my browser and if i write if i write anything like if i write okay let's again write make my trip dot com this is my website right so a complete thing will be open so this is what this is my url uniform resource locator right with the help of which i am uh, passing my control to the next to the next location to the next tab okay let us fill some of the requirements then if i search a new tab will be open so a new tab a new page a new web page means what a new web page means a new url right so these are my urls available so these are the three terms available in a, a web service right i'm just giving you the basic introduction of each and every term we'll discuss about each and everything in very detail so now if i say xml xml is my extensible markup language tag based language these all things we are done a start tag and a end tag it comes with in request and response surely if i am doing the communication then it must consist of request and response okay and it also comes with the version names and many more things we are done with xml and what about the 
Okay, we are done. Okay, now JSON. JSON also we have covered. It's a JavaScript object notation consists of key value pairs, enclosing braces. Right? This is just a theoretical portion. We are done how it looks, how it, uh, how we can use it. Now, the next thing is about, so yeah, any doubt? You have any doubt? Yeah. One question for me. Just a minute, I'm not able to hear. Yeah, now say. Can you hear me? Please. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, Priya, actually, this uh, SOAP and REST both are uh, different tools, right? Mm -hmm. For the same purpose. Is it like that? Yeah. We need to use uh, REST with SOAP, uh, definitely. Okay. See the thing which I thing which I just told you about soap and rest, just a definition. Like soap is my protocol and rest is my architecture. We'll discuss about both of them in very detail now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, just give me ten more minutes, then you'll be clear with soap and rest. Okay. okay? Yes. So soap is my simple object access simple object access protocol and it is a protocol which comes with soap envelope now let's see what is soap and what is rest if i discuss about soap soap will come let's firstly discuss about how it looks soap will come like this soap has its own structure soap consists of soap header and soap envelope and a complete soap we call as soap body okay soap body soap body consists of soap header soap envelope and if i this is how it looks but how it works actually if i say let me open the same file this one response and request I'm sending response I'm getting back if I want to secure if I want to make this connection secure soap and rest I'm going to use in between here in between right so soap is going to help soap is going to cover soap is going to com completely cover my request to send from browser to the server from user from end user, from my end user, from end to, to the server, from where I'm go going to get back the response. Soap is nothing. What I'll do, what I'll do within my, if I say this is the connection between browser and the server, what I'll do here in between, my request will come and I'm going to enclose my request in between the SOAP protocol. Now, the thing is how it works. Right now, I am just explaining you how, where SOAP plays and how it is going to send, where I am going to use it. I am just going to use it. I am just going to use to cover my request. And when the response will come back from the server, what I'll do, I'll again enclose my response within response within my tags of soap okay so enclosing means what enclosing means i'm going to use enclosing means i'm going to use tags because soap is something which works with c it can be implemented with the help of xml only and it comes with the request and response that is soap request and okay can you please tell me where soap request will reside yes any can you please tell me where soap request will reside uh, soap request will reside like it is sending from the browser SMS. yeah right right so here my soap request will come because this is the location from where user is sending the request and soap response will come over here and if i say it is soap what does it mean? It means it consists of tags. Okay, and the tags means XML tags. Fine. So now, how it looks. This is 
the working is just as simple as for the uh, right now just to make sure that to uh, you you just know how where it is going to be placed it is going to be placed within browser and the server from where i am sending the request and from where i am getting back the response okay and now it comes with tags the second thing it comes with tags now the third thing is which i just explained you soap consists of soap envelope and soap envelope will come with soap header and soap body and it consists of nothing but the what will be present within soap header tags right and what will be present within soap body again tags and tag means what the thing which i explained you yesterday start tag and the yeah it's end tag with one condition that both tag names must be same and in between two tags in between start tag and the end tag value will reside okay so what is the thing yeah any doubt yeah yes. i have a doubt actually uh, how uh, system get to know re this response is related to this request how re response is related to request yes we are sending the multiple request at the mm -hmm. same time we are getting the multiple response also but how uh, system i mean uh, how big for example in the same request we are getting from the same source uh, multiple times okay i assume there is a 10 times we are get, we are sending the request at a uh, response also we are getting the 10 but how it will be mapped with the re request to response you understood my question hello so how we can relate that particular request is related to which response now the thing is when i fire my request when i run any one of my request it is going to send me back the response corresponding to that one only we can't say we can't say that if i have 10 request then any one of the request can be uh, jumble up if i say that request 1 is going to relate with response with the response number 3 this is not possible this is something which is going to be covered which is going to be uh, taken care by the soap ui tool okay you can't say that any one of the request is going that request one is going to relate with request number 3 this is not possible this is something which is already defined that which request is going to be related related with which one if one request i am firing then surely the response one is going to come back okay is this clear and one more thing this everything will be more clear when we are going to implement the things within soap you and which i am going to start from tomorrow or a day after tomorrow because these are the trial classes so that's why i can't jumble up on all those things okay so soap consists of what soap consists of some tags it consists of uh, which is going to become within soap request and soap response now this is how my soap envelope looks now what about rest if i just give you introduction about rest it is it is nothing but a architecture not a protocol architecture means what what do you think if i say it is an architecture architecture means the outline the boundaries i am providing within which i can work but what about the protocol then what is the difference between architecture and a protocol protocol are rules which user must follow if i want to specify any request 
okay so if i say it is about architecture architecture just provide some of the constraints constraint means just the username and password must be same nothing else okay so what is the thing the thing which i am saying nothing else it consists of username and password what does it mean it means that within soap we have tags and there are some problems with if i am using xml there are some issues can you please tell me ashok what do you think what are all are the issues if i am working with xml what do you think uh, readability is a problem readability problem right and one more thing some tags which we don't need like the version do we need to know which version of xml it is using no we don't need so why we are writing this thing as why it is coming as i said these tags the request and response will come on its own within soap ui but do we need all these things no we don't need to know which version it is using and why start tag and end tag is coming only one tag we can use if it is name priya instead of this i can i i must also write it must allow me to write like this if it is name it is priya that's it but it it is um, giving me this condition that it must come like this stop oh, i'm sorry this is name start tag and end tag both must be same so which language is uh, which language is easier to understand it's json only right but the thing is soap works with xml only so it consists of many more rules many more a uh, structure problem readability problem is there right so we are not at all comfortable with soap so provides many rules so rest is best rest is here in this case rest is uh, like a using it's a better way to use it assigns some building blocks it can be implemented with xml and json yeah this is a very important thing soap can work with xml only but rest can work with xml and json both and to implement rest urls are used which in turn means single service we will work on to this line when we we'll, uh, reach there okay now the concept is here what is soap what is rest any idea about both just a introduction now you know what is soap what is rest is this clear actually yes uh, that is uh, i'm not clear with architecture and protocol Maybe okay. in the later class uh, we will discuss that. Uh. Okay. But still be just give I, me the I introduction. Always, okay. Yeah, yeah fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. fine. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Yeah. So protocol is nothing but the rules. Rules like the tag name must come. It must start with this tag. That are the rules of XML as well. Fine. So if I say it is about protocol. the tag name the version name and many more things will come which even we don't need as you said in the first day class when i'll implement so then it will be more clear to you and tomorrow surely i'll try to clear this thing about so because i can't jump the things uh, right now directly right so just the introduction about soap and rest if you know about uh, if you know that thing like soap works with xml it consists of it is protocol consists of request and response it is envelope envelope body so this is more than enough to note till uh, two days for the soap and rest okay now about soap ui tool what is soap ui we are done with some of the jargons now what about soap ui soap ui is a is a tool used to automate any web service we are here for soap ui training right so soap ui itself is a tool Soap UI is an open source, which is free cross-platform testing software. We can use it on any of the platform. It is available on Linux. It is available on Windows. It is available on Mac as well. Okay, and Soap UI is provided by everywhere software. These are some theoretical things which we don't uh, need to more concentrate. And yeah, this is important thing. Soap UI is completely built on Java platform, which uses Swing for user interaction. and we can use groovy yeah this is again very important thing which we have already discussed it uses groovy groovy is nothing but a scripting language and with the help of which we can automate our test cases okay now the next thing is what is testing soap ui is done we are here for soap ui training soap ui testing now what is testing 
testing is nothing but just a process of executing any program with the intention of finding the bugs what does it means if i'm executing any program if i'm executing any application i just want to check if any problems are there if any bug is present within that right so it comes within testing and testing one more definition for testing which we are going to implement it's just a way to validate and to verify if any of the product is is like providing is following is um, meeting the business and technical requirements of any of the company okay it is a way of it is a process of validation and verification now what is validation and what is verification some technical terms within this line validation means to check to verify if something uh, okay this this comes within verification verification means to check and to test and validation means to change to make some changes with with the help of uh, those testing if i apply i just want to validate i just want to make changes so what i can say for verification verification means checking to comparison to make comparison and validation means to make some changes if required okay this is about testing now let's discuss about some of the terms which we um, which we generally see if i say soap ui testing means i am going to test my web service or web api with the help of soap ui tool if i say i am going to test my web service then it is web service testing if i say i am going to test my web api we'll done we we are almost done with these three things i have already discussed what is web api what is web service so pure now what about rest api now you know about rest rest is my architecture and api is my api on which i am going to do testing so if i am testing my api with the help of rest then it is rest api if i am testing my uh, any of the web api with the help of rest and json as my language rest as my architecture and json as my language then it is my rest json testing and what about functional testing again one of the uh, new uh, a new name one more name for soap ui testing so these are the some testing names which you can see if someone asks you for rest json what does it mean i'm going to test with rest architecture and json as my language now what all are the versions available we have two versions yeah any doubt anyone yes yes what is the difference between the web api and web service okay uh, this thing mm -hmm. there is a slightly yeah, different yeah yeah if i say it is web service then it means it may have its gui and api will surely be there gui plus api make a web service okay and web api don't have gui it's just a api which with which we can't view it within the browser okay and this thing will be more clear to you to be frank i can say that this thing is uh, something which you will understand after implementing our app our retail application which we created yeah for example uh, yes we have gone to the uh, site that uh, make my trip and we have mm -hmm. a request for the uh, see for flight and from yes just from different vendors are uh, downloading to yes. make my trip so that there mm -hmm. there uh, one uh, gui is the gui is present is coming. yeah okay. yeah both the things are present so this is the one of the example for a web service very right answer okay and api may don't have gui but api but, will have yes yeah uh, so what i understand is the request we have sent over there is the api alone and the api is, is gui plus api is it like no gui if i'm sending the request then surely it is it is present with the help of gui only if i'm sending the request because i was sending the request from delhi to chandigarh or from delhi to goa i want to travel so all these all those stuff is going to work on the gui only and api is something which we can't see just keep one thing in mind api is something which we can't see it is something which is present the example which i gave you this one on api gui works okay and gui is something with which user interacts 
an API is something with which the uh, the the user interface as my GUI plus the lower layers of my complete messaging protocol are going to interact. Okay, so GUI is something with which you, me, and as an end user, we all interact. And API we can't see. Okay, yeah, it will be more clear to you when we'll implement our retail application, which we'll do tomorrow. Yes. Now the versions of SOAP UI. We have two versions of SOAP UI. Free version, which is available free, and the paid version, which is a pro version of SOAP UI, and which is available with the name as Ready API, and it gives us within the 14 days trial, and after that we need to purchase it, or we have uh, two three more options, which I which I'll tell you when we'll reach there. How what is the solution for the pro version to use without purchasing the without purchasing its license? Okay, and a list of differences. Surely there are a complete list, a big list of differences between free version and the pro version. Not only it's, it's uh, like how it looks, but also the functionality. Okay, so these all are the topics which are uh, there. Just a minute. Let me open my ID. Uh, yes. Actually, uh, for example, you want to do, we want to do something with service testing. Okay, in this uh, case, mm -hmm. uh, uh, both the API as well as UI is involved. Uh, so, so sometimes I need to do some UI interactions like UI automation sort of things uh, we want to enable. So, that, is it possible with SOAP UI? Yes. Uh, alone for SOAP UI is possible? I mean doing some uh, uh, UI automation also. Okay, only UI? No, it can't no, be no, done. No, no, what I'm saying is, uh, Web service as part of web service testing, I want to check both UA as well as API. For API, okay. you are mentioning uh, SOAP API is best suitable. Okay. For example, mm -hmm. if I go and use the SOAP API, okay, some of the places I need to do some automation of the UA interactions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, such situations we need to use SOAP API or any other tool is preferable. We can use SOAP UI for both web services testing. And web API testing. Now the thing is, maybe right now you are not clear what all are the differences between web service and the web API. Okay, as the thing which I was explaining, these all are the terms which we can use interchangeably. Right, web service, web API, REST, JSON, REST API. Now, if the if we have any of the GUI available, like for the MakeMyTrip.com, if I want to test MakeMyTrip.com. Then I can't test it directly. We need to have its, we need to have its WSDL file. If you see here, if I was discussing about jargons available, rest and okay here after that this one. So if I say I want to test my web service, then WSDL is the document with the help of which I'll get the API for that. WADL is the file with the help of which I'll get the API for that. Just keep one thing in mind. If you want to test any of the web service or web API, we need some files. And that files are nothing but WSDL and WADL. Okay, if you get the WSDL, this is not a simple thing. This is not as easy thing. If you want to test any one of the web service or web API, these documents you must get. And that document means a complete API with the help of which you can make any change within that. And make my trip or any of the website, we can't make changes directly onto that. Understand? And yes, as I said, we'll, when we'll work on our retail application, then it will be more clear to you. WSDL, what is WADL and how it comes, this is important thing which we'll cover tomorrow, okay, within our third trial class. Clear? This is about the, how we can test. Now, what about, okay, I, I told you about the versions. Let's see how we can download and from which side. Go to the soapui.org. Go to this website. This is the official website for SOAPUI. And there is a download tab. I'll, today I'll tell you how to um, download and install free version of SOAP UI. Okay, 
pro version i'll tell you when we'll reach there and as i told you there is a big difference a list of differences which are listed over here only few differences are there i'll told i'll, I'll tell you that it it will have even 15 to 20 more differences which you will tell me after completing our course okay when we'll done with our course then on the last day i'll, I'll ask you what all are the differences between free version and the pro version then you will give me uh, the answer for that because you'll understand what all are the differences okay just click on to that download button and it will be downloaded see it is giving me 9 minutes left so after that it will be downloaded and then you can install it directly okay i'm downloading it and for a different versions we have um different platforms access as well you can download it see the alternate platforms just go to this uh, and you can download it according to your requirement what is you are working on linux you are working on mac like this okay so here it is downloading after downloading after when it completes with the download i can i can install it fine so download and install so be very easy to download and install now what all are the future of web services <clears throat> a future is very good because you will see that as i just told you about make my trip.com this is one of the very simple website a list of websites we have and for each and every website we have web api as well right and one more thing as i told you any gui for all the gui api is present surely right this is the thing which i told you for all the gui apis are there and maybe we have some guis which don't have api right so this thing is very important we are going to test this api we are not going to test gui maybe gui is not there but surely api will be there and in my course i am going to tell you how to test this web api okay so web services are the future it's very good because for each and every uh, gui api is present we may need to test it we will surely do have this testing thing okay so this is all about the topics which were left from uh, yesterday's and we are almost done with many topics for xml with how it works with soap how rest works with json wsgl so these three topics are almost done i just want to relate all these things okay now very first topic is soap versus rest what do you think what is the difference i hope now you can at least give me some differences can you please tell me any what all are the differences between soap and rest uh, soap works on the protocol rest uh, works on the architectural style okay one difference very right it's a protocol it's an architecture the second difference is soap works with xml only but rest can work with xml and json the second thing and the first thing is about a protocol it's protocol and architecture and the second difference is xml and xml json the third difference is if i say it is xml and if i say it is protocols then what does it means it means that it consists of many confusion a lot of confusion is there when we'll work with soap but within rest we don't need because rest works with json and it is easier to understand right surely this is the case it is easier to understand rest is easier to understand because it works with json and like this fine so a, a lot of differences are there you will understand when we'll implement the things now what about xml based soap what do you think what will come what will be the answer for that xml based soap what does it means as i told you soap works with xml only and one more thing i told you if it is soap if it is xml then it will come with soap request and soap 
response like this right so soap request and soap response will come what all will be present within soap request can you please tell me and what all will be present within soap response remember this image mm here it is this one so if it is soap request or if it is soap response these things will surely come these things means what these things means soap envelope itself is a tag name and if this tag starts then surely this tag will ends as well with the help of forward slash and within soap envelope what is present soap header and it will be like this if it is soap header start tag and it will also end and after that soap body tag and if it starts it will also ends with a forward slash like this and what will be present why i'm writing like this because it is because it is it works with xml only okay can you please tell me how can i say there see that if it is request or if it is response yesterday i told you this thing how can i say that if it is request or if it is response do i need to know no we can't we can't say what is request and which one is response this is something which is going to be handled with the help of soap ui tool only okay so within soap header what all will be present within soap header consist of again tags and within soap body again a list of tags will come right like this only i can see so this complete thing will make soap request or a soap response now how how end user can find if it is request or if it is response on the basis of some tags what all are the different tags present within request and response what you think if it is request then i may need what all i do need i may need some user name the credentials and some of the passwords am i right what do you think if it is request then surely something like this will be present and if it is response then it consist of some status and status means am i able to log in or not log in or not like this so if it is response some tags like this status if it is success or failure will come okay so it will look like this success or failure if it is if i am able to log in or not like this if it is username and password uh, then it is my request and if it is success or failure then it is my then it is my response uh, yes hello are you able to hear me yeah uh, can you can you see my screen